Good morning folks, I'm Justin, this is Andre and welcome to Quaff TV episode 2. Today we are going to be discussing Sauvignon Blanc, Andre. Why? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what just... did I do to you that you put me through this this morning? Right? I know. Two reasons. Two reasons. First, first reason, you're a wine snob. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wine snob. Um, it's a huge part of his, the wine history around the world. It's, it, you know, from its home in France, in the region of Bordeaux, where it makes, it's blended with Semillon to do the great white Bordeaux, and, you know, Sancerre and Puy Fumé, to the New World, New yeah, Zealand. Like <laughs> That's, this is no, the first that's reason. That's to the that's New that's World, New Zealand, who's, who's taken the world by storm in the last 10 years. Should be reason enough not to do it. <laughs> so, no, that's just... Do I need What's it? Is, this show is not about you. It's about everyone. <laughs> uh, no, right. Number two, number two, which is really important, and getting to that point of it's about everyone and let's discuss something that's interesting. Number two, it is the most, the most drunk white wine in Australia. It's ahead of Chardonnay, and the and the third most drunk white wine in Australia is the Sem Sav Blanc blend. All right, so okay. it is. We've got it. We've, it justifies Yeah, get on with it. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? So anyway, we thought we'd Savion Blanc. We thought we'd compare an Australian Sav Blanc with a New Zealand Sav Blanc. New Zealand Sav Blanc's taken on the world. We featured Adelaide Hill Sav Blanc um, in Road to Vino. Yeah, we did this in the back of the combi yeah. on Road to Vino, didn't yeah. we? But we weren't exactly impartial. <laughs> <laughs> we you know, Adelaide Hills for a start won us over, didn't yeah, they? So yeah. we were all, oh my god, these are great. And we, they really, we found some great ones and one of them is from it. But also, we put them up against an Oyster Bay from Marlborough, which is, you know, at a million cases, it's not exactly the most discerning little wine. Yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. got some sweetness and all that kind of stuff, but anyway. Um, so we're, we're, we're putting it up against, uh, uh, we've got a slightly more impressive version from Marlborough. Yes. Justin, hit me up with the Adelaide Hills. What are we, ah, yes. Nova Vita. Adelaide Hills Firebird Sauvignon Blanc 2009 and see that that Firebird on the front that's apparently is from like uh, Mark and Karen Cosnet own Nova Vita and they've got like Russian background and I think that's supposed to if you see that it's like lucky you're lucky and uh, happiness your way so I'm wishing luck and happiness out to you watching Quaff TV. But he needs some luck <laughs> about to hit Sav Blanc's come yeah, on right. here we alright no we, we did like this on Road to Vina and it was interesting to revisit it after six months um, because it was quite tight and very citrusy six months ago, but a little bit of fruit, fruit has opened out a little bit, and I think it's improved as a wine. I think this is a good age to drink a Sav Blanc in that sort of 12 yep. months bottle age. Yep. Yep. And you've only got a small window. Yep. You don't want to start drinking it after two or three years unless it's, you know, mm. a particular type of Sav Blanc. But these kind of ones, it's drinking well. And, uh, and what, I lo what I love about this particular wine, it's, it's so Adelaide Hills Sav Blanc. It, it just screams Adelaide Hills Sav Blanc. It's clean, it's tight, it's lifted, it's lemon lime, the citrus thing going on. It's yeah, just real pine lime and green passion fruit on the nose. Yeah, definitely. And I do get, I do get a bit, it's a bit floral yeah. on the nose for me, yeah. like a lovely sort of white petal sort of thing going on, which is yeah. interesting. It's and I mean, it's, it's a very good wine. It's uh, Halliday is like 91 points, I think, and Tony Love was 92 points, so it's a very good wine. Quite a mouthwash. <laughs> no, it, it's pretty bright and zingy, and isn't it? And citrus, lime, and passion fruit yeah. comes out, and it's tight. Mm. It's limey and the acidity. Yeah, mm. it's uh, mouthwatering and yeah, it's look, very that's focused. What, that's what I mean in I need good exactly. acid balance with the right sort of fruit weight, and not over ripe and sickly and sweet. And this, then is it, a, this is a very classy one. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very elegant, classy wine. Well, Grace Elegance. Kelly, Grace Kelly, Mark. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Grace Kelly, Mark Cosney called it, as opposed to your Pamela Anderson, uh, you know, Oyster Bay. And yes. This is, um, we haven't got a Pamela Anderson from Marlborough for you. This is Adelaide Hills at its purest, I would say. What do you reckon? Absolute representative of Adelaide Hills. Great example. Nice one. No Vita. Beautiful. All right. From across the Tasman. With lots of me, this is the mud house. This was suggested to us from uh, one of our Facebook quaffers yes. like about an hour ago, and we thought, oh, then yes, we hadn't tried it, but we've heard about it obviously because mm. it's starting to get quite uh, a, a bit of uh, exposure. And so we tried it, and wow, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's pretty good. And it is blinged up, blinged up. Oh, yeah, now interesting. All right, so Marlborough Sauvignon, I think 
great story behind it. When they first um, got together and started their campaign of world domination, they decided as, as, as a body of producers not to sell their Sav Blancs under £10 a bottle in the UK market. Mm. And that, I think, was such a good move and got them strong prices and strong market. And then mm. obviously with market pressures, a, lot, a few of them started to whore out their prices and plummeted and oversupply mm. and all everything worked against them and now they're cheap. And now you, you, you really do get some shit pumped out, but you still get some great Sav Blancs. I mean, Absolutely. yeah, for all my bagging out, there's, if someone dominates the world with a variety, the world's not often wrong, in, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. So like Chinese and rice, isn't it? I mean, you know what I mean? No, no, it's a kind reason. of yes. There's a reason. <laughs> but this is not rice. No. All right. Well, straight away on the nose, it tells you this is Marlboro. It's yeah. a lift up in the ripeness and intensity. Yeah, it's got that that kind of green pea thing that is just very varietal. It's that green pea greenness. Sweet pea. Green passion Fresh fruit. Fresh sweet pea, pea uncooked. Yeah. yeah. Which is really nice. And yeah, the passion fruit again. Mangoes. Oh, I get delicious fresh mango. All right. <laughs> Shouldn't be getting so excited. <laughs> I get fresh mango. <laughs> and it's oh, I'm such and a whore. The, <laughs> the intensity is great. It's just, it's really, it's a, it's got a lot of stuff going on. And for us, we're just banging like terms back and forth, and that's because it's a bloody good wine. It's got so much going on in this wine, and pretty intense on the palate. Yeah, a lift up, but zingy. And the acid again, I think it's got that, the same as the um, Nova Vita had. It's got great balance between the acid and the citrus flavors and everything that makes you go. Yeah. And the, the, the fruit ripeness, but it's not sickly tropical punch. No. To me, it's mango and passion fruit and sort of, yeah, bright tropical notes. A bit grassy. Yeah, definitely grassy. It goes towards that liminess as well. It's light on the gooseberry. Lime. Yeah, it's on not over, overly gooseberry. Yeah, it's on that more um, kind of limey, green, uh, bean, pea thing. It's delicious, really great intensity. And you know what? Yep. And we're talking about a perfect example of Adelaide Hill Sav Blanc oh. on that side. Perfect example of great New Zealand Sav Blanc. On we looked up the awards. Let me just read out what this wine has done. Is yeah, I'm going to go and take a break while he reads all these. I'll read fast because <laughs> we. All right, trophy champion wine of the show, top 100 Liquor Land Wine Awards. Trophy champion Sav Blanc, top 100 Liquor Land Wine Awards. Gold at the Royal Easter Show Wine Awards. Gold Decanter World Wine Awards. Gold Air New Zealand Wine Awards. Gold New Zealand International Wine Show. Gold Liquor Land Top 100 Wine Awards. Five Stars Cuisine Magazine. 95 points Gourmet Traveller Wine. 93 points Taste Magazine. 93 points Wine. Oh. A lot of bling. A lot of people like this wine. Yes. And look, it's one of the more exciting little versions that I've yes, had in a while. Absolutely. And Marlboro, look, yeah, you can't deny it, can you? There's a reason they're so popular. Good on them, Sav Blanc. Can we finish yet? Can we go? <laughs> can I go we on can... shard, mate? Yes, we can. But no, you're right. So anyway, it should not be a wine stop. We're asking you to expand your palate all the time. It's only fair that we follow suit. All right, Adelaide Hills. That one. It is a perfect example of Adelaide Hills. Clean, crisp, tight, focused, delicious. More on your kind of uh, Riesling S style if you were to choose one, which is my favourite variety, by the way. Um, and this is the New Zealand, and it's a perfect example of New Zealand. It's more of that kind of green pea. It's a bit fuller in the palate, a bit richer, and um, delicious. Yeah, good examples. Um, and they're not the only places in the world that are doing good in so long, yep. and not the only places in Australia. WA, we had a great one yep. from Pemberton the other day. Maybe we'll re revisit sometime when Justin feels the need to put me through it again. No, uh, you snob. No, all good, all good. Give it a go. If I give it a go, then here's a couple that if you yeah. like to have blocks, which you probably do, let's face it, most yeah. of the world does. You will like these. That's us. We're out. Quaff TV, episode two. Hope we see you next time. Jump on Facebook. Tell us what you think. Yes. Just have long. Cheers. <laughs>